Hey, what's up, YouTube? Good to be back. Got a little bit of news. I don't know if it's going to be that good of news, but Bitmain just announced that they're releasing a new Bitcoin miner, and possibly it's going to be one that's worth getting. So we're not going to know the power for a couple days because they're not releasing it till November 8th. Um, if you follow their Twitter, you might have seen this, but I'll post a link to the Twitter and of course I'll post a link to the Bitmain website, which I'm sure you already know. But they're releasing a new S15 Bitcoin miner and in two days on November 8th, they're going to release it. And they haven't said what the power is going to be and what the hash rate is going to be. Um, I was searching around to see if anybody knew, but all there are is some rumors right now. Somebody says 34 terahash, $1,200 price range at the power limit of 1,500 watts. And if that is the case, if that's true, then it's pretty sad because we've been waiting a whole year for this. I've been expecting this to come out for a year now, and we've just been waiting around. Nothing's happening. And the price of Bitcoin really is just slowly coming down, actually. But for the past little bit, it's been stuck around $6,400, which isn't terrible, but still is not the best. As you know, the all-time high was around 20000 at one time, and it's just slowly been coming down since then. There's been a lot of things that made it come down. The BitConnect crash, of course. Um, the futures, I think, is affecting it. They're probably stabilizing the price when they're betting on the futures with it. Let's put in the calculator and see if those numbers, the rumors are correct, what this would generate and see, you know, if it'd be worth getting. So I put 34 terahash in here, 1500 watts. I put about eight cents per kilowatt power for electricity. And it's saying around $4 a day, $138 a month and $1,600 a year. And they're saying it's going to cost $1,200. You know, you would never make your money back. So I don't think they're going to release a new machine with that low of power for that price range. If it is 34 terahash, I think the price range would be around 300, 400. And there's, I just don't see that happening. I think that it's got to be around 80 terahash at least. And then the price range could be around $1,200 if the power consumption is 1500 watts. I think it'd be awesome if it was 200 terahash. 200 terahash, even if it was 2400 watts, and if it costs $3,000, that seems like what the machines used to be, and that's, that's kind of on par with how the machines used to be when they came out. Back two years ago, it's been what, two years? A year and a half ago, yeah, well, two years to a year and a half ago, when they first released these miners, that's approximately what they would generate and how much the price range was. So I don't know if it's going to be that powerful, but that would be really nice and that would create some stir. Um, I don't think it's going to push the price of Bitcoin up, but it could because it's going to make the difficulty go through the roof. This is the current difficulty chart here. And as you can see, this is starting in December of last year. So it's almost a month, almost a year old. So it's one month away from being a year old. And as you can see, the difficulty chart has just skyrocketed. And there's been no new Bitcoin miners released. This must have been Bitmain themselves. And maybe, I don't know if some other companies have been testing, developing these. But... It's just been going up steadily. looks like around June there's a big jump. So maybe that Bitmain worked out the kinks and they've been running these on their own since June. Um, it's a good possibility and there's been another jump in August. So maybe they've been running a few batches of these on their own trying to generate as much profit as they can before they release them to the public, which is wrong, I think. It's pretty shady to do to you know, take profitability out of these, but that's what it is. It actually has dropped in the past week. Um, so maybe Bitmain has turned some of their machines off. It's dropping the, bit, the difficulty down a little bit, or just some other people are turning them off. I'm not sure, but 
the difficulty is high. It's been going up all year. And once these new machines are released, it's just going to increase it even higher. So we're not going to know until November 8th what this is going to do and, you know, how much, what the hash rate is going to be. We don't know the price is going to be, but hopefully this rumor is not right because that would be ridiculous and I don't think anybody's going to buy it at that. It's just not worth it. Um, you're not, you can never run these for a year and expect to make the same thing that the, uh, the calculator says you're going to make because they go down daily. The price just drops so quick, especially when these new machines get released and the batches come out and start shipping. So even though they go on sale November 8th, they don't say when they're going to start shipping. Um, <clears throat> hopefully it's not a three month delay for the shipping because that's going to even lower the profitability even more. But I'm really interested to see the hash rate of these. It's got the new seven nanometer technology. It's the new processing chip, which is supposed to run more efficient. So it should use less power. Um, it'll have more hash rate using the same power as the old machines. But anyways, that's that. Um, if you watched their Twitter, you would have seen this already. Um, you can go check out their Twitter and stay up to date using that. But yeah, I just wanted to post this quickly to see, you know, let you know and see what you think of it. Um, if you have, if you know of any information, if you know the hash rate, post in the comments below. Um, if you think you're going to buy one of these. And if you're still mining, let me know. Post in the comments below. But yeah, that's about all with this miner right now that's going on. I haven't been mining for the past six months, it seems. I have no miners running right now, which is the reason I've been making any videos. There just hasn't been any new miners coming out that I felt like I wanted to talk about that I think you could go get. Um, there have been some expensive ones that came out, and but nothing that's really economical and feasible and that's easily available for you to get. Um, Oblisk, this company here has released their Sia coin miner, which has been delayed for a long time. Um, they're the creators of Sia coin, which Bit, Bitmain did make a Sia coin miner in the past, and I paid the video about that. I was running it for a little bit, but then I sold it. Um, but what's, what um, Sia coin has done is they forked the Sia coin to make the Bitmain miners not work, so you can't mine the Sia coin any longer with the app miners that Bitmain made and it only works with this miner and when they did that it increased the profitability up from about two dollars a day to about ninety dollars a day right now on the SC1 so if you were able to get one of these miners you know it's not a bad deal they are selling them on eBay but they're around three to five thousand dollars and it's kind of a gamble right now purchasing them on there but at ninety dollars a day you could make your money back in a couple months for sure. So, and I'm not sure when they're going to ship some more of these. I did sign up for the newsletter to see, you know, when they're going to release in another batch. But I I don't know yet when they're going to release another batch. But this miner right now is pretty profitable. And the Sia coin price is really low right now. So if the price of the Sia coin goes up, it's just going to be even more profitable. And the same with Bitcoin, you know, it always is relevant to the price of the coin. But yeah, that's just a quick video for you guys. A um, little bit of news that I felt like I should post about because, you know, Bitmain is one of the biggest ASIC miners and there's not much been happening in the miner area. So yeah, there it is. Um, if you have any questions, post in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in a couple days to post an update on this miner. Take it easy. Peace.